Hello. Cool. So we have some new decor in the background, which is just on this big camera. It was pretty cool. I like that. That looks nice. But because of that, I've missed the live stream. So we're going to watch that right now. Let's see. I've just been seeing people's reaction and it's, it doesn't look like it's the best thing. It may just be like a filler patch type thing, but I mean, I guess it's time for a filler patch. Though, not really. Also, apparently there's been like a thing about like the voice actors like protesting. So they don't want to like do the voice acting and all that for the game. I don't know that we're going back to Penacony. And obviously like a rapper is coming, right? Which is great, it's only one banner. Just one. That I want anyway. IPC. With a recent rise in tourists visiting Penacony, could you share some tips for out-of-town visitors who want to explore the campus? Uh, I just got here myself. And I've still got a mission to complete. Bye, Albert! Okay. <sighs> The gold medal wind ensemble has won the Pentaconi's instrumental competition for 25 straight years. Mr. Rekka, the renowned director, is here in person to mentor us. Oh, we welcome you to join the drama society. Uh, come one, uh, come all, and don't miss out. Excuse me. No, oh, we're like an what art university, did I say? Oh, right. Something like that. Uh, Albert, uh, have you heard of the Slumber Nana Association? They're looking for new members. You should check it out. Oh, ninja. Is the technique you're teaching the legendary passing out ninjutsu? Uh. Wait, the hat looks like a... Like a samurai thingy. What do you I want see. to get out of attending Paperfold University? I did see that because she was... People were saying that she's like a... I guess they really thought about that. it. But That's all my friends enrolled, so I thought I might as well too. Is that even a question? Mark my words. I will claim the eight like a ninja, the I guess, just straight up. And I know why I went. Seriously, all you do is talk a technical big. term. Did you even attend Dr. Ratio's open lecture? And did you actually get that exchange spot at University of Veritas Prime? No. <laughs> a genius like me could never be understood by the likes of you, Mundanites. <sighs> Dr. Ratio! <laughs> How do you feel about the fact that many students are hoping you'll take on the role of guest lecturer at Paperfold University? No, he's coming back. <sighs> University of Veritas Prime now offers online courses. With so many ways to pursue education, insisting on guest lectures can be seen as nothing more than self-indulgence. All academies at Paperfold University, a hundred points taken away. Of Dr. Ratio, please hold on a second. I don't fully understand. Right. Your he's like so overconfident. I feel like his courses will be like one of those like scam ones, you know, like they'll get rich quick courses. Excuse me. Does Paperfold University have any gallery? Also, Loki, I don't I care about what's recommend. happening right now. No, 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 no. So, this is not good. Because this is 40 minutes long. What are some must-visit spots at Paperfold University? Right. Oh, that cut off weirdly. Oh, the trailer. Okay, this this has to be good, right? There's no way. Actors, take your positions. Three. Who's that? Action! Bro, we're gonna be doing some cringe acting stuff. Oh my god. I feel this program is gonna bring a lot more like mini games. Huh. I'm on Loki looking. I shall unleash the vibrant colors of death Is this part of the act? Like bananas within their peels. We can never break free of its encapsulation. Finally, all preparations leading up to the climax are in place. Let us welcome the beatific final act. Okay, DJ Robin, interesting. The 
your name will carry your ideas, your convictions, and your destiny. Your ninja name belongs to you alone. So the decision is yours to make. Dazzling ninja reporting for duty. I drag the fish. Let's go crazy, Loki. Like, what's happening? I can't even think of like how we reached that spot. That's crazy. Okay. Now it looks alright. It looks like there's some drama with her backstory a little bit. Like the whole ninja thing. Well, that's interesting. Maybe she's like from the Lofu or something? Or from the Janjo? I don't know. Or something originally. I don't know, like maybe. That's why someone said that she's from like Pier Point, no? So maybe she's from that planet, whatever that planet is, which I don't remember. But you could just be Pier Point, the planet. Hurt on ratio. Oh, yeah, I also saw people spamming hurt on Twitter. That's interesting. I am the Dazzling Ninja, aka Rappa. Once again, Rappa is darn cool indeed. I will be playing her. Like, another quantum erudition? That's interesting. Because Jade is already like out there. So, do we need Rappa? I don't know. I don't know. Bamloki struggling though with my pulls. Ninjas. So it's gonna be a That's rough right. one. I myself am a ninja. <sighs> Never mind. Albert, can you explain why we come back to Panacone again? <coughs> Actually, this time. Uh, Panacone is the main Paper planet Paul of this patch. has extended an invitation to the entire cosmos. This prestigious cosmic and institution is preparing for a new semester and its anniversary what does that mean? The okay. university is preparing to hold a truly special academic seminar. As celebrities and shareholders of Pentacony, the crew of the Astral Express has been invited by the university to attend the event as distinguished guests. Turns out the people of Pentacony are so dedicated to ninjutsu, they even study it in their dreams. Wait, why she say Pentacony like that? Is closely intertwined that was weird. With that of Penicone. According to legend, Paperfold University was established during the pioneering era. It was initially a training ground for Dreamweavers and was founded by Glocks, head of the Nightingale family. Glocks Avenue in Golden Hour was also named after this former dean. That's right. A dreamscape school is unlike those of the real world. Oh, it's so cool, man. Brought to life in dreams, giving Paperfold University a unique edge in its teaching methods. Dean Glocks hope that this okay. university will provide a more open, free, and imaginative curriculum supplying the cosmos with innovative minds. So today, we have the honor of welcoming the cosmic singer and a famous Paperfold University alumna, Ms. Robin, to share with the audience all there is to know about the university. I guess it makes sense. Like the whole singing thing, right? Who's the bird on the right? Was oh, that Albert? <laughs> Robin? And to your taste. I'm gonna lie, I think this one's the worst. <laughs> I think I would have preferred the other styles. It's just like, it's real, right? Like, it's like the... Like, frame by frame animation thing, right? Like, that's what's happening here. Making village <laughs> Minecraft villager noises. That's crazy.
Like... <laughs> There's no way this is because of the like, the voice actor strike thingy, right? Like, I mean, I get it because like about the art school, but like this is the art part, right? Like, to show off their skills or whatever, but like... It's not that engaging, and I don't really care. I was like, they're not saying anything crazy anyway. They're saying maybe something cool or whatever, but they're saying like nothing really. Even these birds can attend. I guess so. I mean, they're like the origami birds, which are like real or something, right? The monkeys are new in Pelagoni. Just like basically everyone came from this account, like. University Academy thing you want? Okay, no, everyone, but like, it's, just, it's a lot of people. Uh, so, there's just how many ties like Penacony has with the IPC. Owl who, who like, this whole university is like linked with IPC, which is interesting. your past, Snowy Ninja. Let's focus on Paperfold University instead. <laughs> In the version 2.6 Trailblaze Continuance mission, Banana Outrage, Battles Without Ninja and Humanity, the Trailblazer will enter Panacone's Paperfold University as an auditing student to experience the joys of campus life. Not only will you be classmates with March 7th and Don Hung, but you'll also make new friends along the way. Ah, now you've piqued my curiosity. I wonder which academy the Trailblazer will be placed in. Since they're a festive superstar of Penicani, they should attend Charmony Academy. 
Or, since the Trailblazer is now the captain of the Radiant Feldspar and a Pentaconi shareholder, they'll this end up in... The voice actress is interesting. That's also an American. Which is like where are, all you has been, right? Like Los Angeles and like Boston, right? That's where... No need to keep our guests guessing. Like Molya stuff are from like, like Sila. Oh, are choice. they like looking <laughs> out? <laughs> Rumor has it this year's Academy tuning test will be different from previous because of the strikes with Mr. Rekka, the famous director and guest professor at Paperfold University, acting as the examiner. Mm, that's right. Mr. Rekka is famous across the cosmos. Rekka and Rekka behind Soul okay. Shattered Dark Star and has launched the careers of countless major stars across the universe. To reflect Mr. Rekka's teaching methods. This year's uh, I get the same feeling that I go for Silver Roof. Like, I, well, I didn't like her from like anything that they showed, right? But then, like, in game, I was like, I'm sold. Like, to me, right now, I don't really care. Especially when we think about 2.6, right? Like, that's. or 2.7. We'll step in for like the that's gonna be crazy. Acting as assistant nanas and prop nanas. Assistant nanas, prop nanas, <laughs> sounds weird. Well, it's just as I'm still thinking about Sunday. Though. I don't know. Has become like I get it. It's Sunday, but like. Trendy at Paperfold University. I don't know. Nannies is the most popular form of communication at Paperfold University. <laughs> Why, of course. It's perfectly appropriate. The rise of a culture always seems profound, but in reality, it's often quite bizarre. There's usually a mastermind behind such phenomena. Can we truly believe the meteoric rise of Slumber Nana Monkey was entirely natural? When something out of the ordinary happens, you can bet there's something or someone behind it. This could very well be the sorcery of the emotionless, soulless, and merciless evil ninja Asaru at work. Apes, monkeys, bananas. I feel like the truth isn't too far out of reach. This kind of drivel cannot be permitted to spread any further. Albert, do you have any means to put a stop to it? On this point, I'd like to remind everyone of something. Remember back in 2.3, when another well-known director, Sparkle, sent the Trailblazer a message? You mean when it said Dr. Primitive actually loves to eat bananas? A masked fool would never reveal information without a twist. They're always playing pranks. Don't worry. This is exactly why I'm here in Penacani. Silver Gun Chira will also be lending me a hand. With the strength of the ninja hero, all wickedness will be purged. Next up, let's start by watching a video to learn about our new Galaxy Ranger friend. Oh yeah, I like the accent. Dazzling ninja. Like it gives like a. a, a rapper. Okay, some Zelda Zone Zero vibes. Okay, she's not looking. Damn. Oh, she's like the. Uh, like Sasuke's thing. We use like the big ass shuriken, whatever that was called. Oh, this musical is crazy. Yeah, which is imaginary. Why are like people lying? People saying that she's quantum. Imaginary? Okay. And then I'm she getting. attributes everything in the world to ninjutsu. It's as if the world she sees is different from Bruh, everyone that. else. Her world is filled with ninjas. Also, she's like tall as fuck. She, I didn't so think she would be that tall. Her entire worldview is fundamentally Damn. different from others. Candle bird. No matter. The way of the ninja has many yeah. forms, but they That's all converge in the end. Even if our ways of speaking differ, Bird. I am certain we ninjas will On understand right. one another. Right above For me. instance, when she mentioned the Silver Gun Shura, she was actually referring to Boot Hill. She also calls Dun Hung Ninja Hiryu, and the Trailblazer, the Baseball Bat Ninja. Correct! Can you guess who Ninja Ruri and the Songstress Ninja are? 
Rory is referring to March 7th. And I suppose the songstress ninja is Miss Robin? Exactly. Twirling Ninja is truly a master of the erudition. She has already grasped the way of the ninja. Twirling? <laughs> uh, due to her unique way of perceiving the world, Rappa tends to identify key features. I think we're skipping someone in 2.7, and I think I know who it is. <laughs> Basically, she sees everything around her. I mean, you like it, though. There's always the like one, well, zero point like one percent chance. Rappa is quite unusual. Uh, does it have any really, special right? meaning? It means of all ninjutsu methods, this name suggests my heart shall remain unmoved until evil has been purged and justice enacted. This is the way ordained by the great Lan. In essence, it means wiping out evil and standing up for justice. I wonder if like she's acting or if she's like for real. Rangers. I've heard like... that rapper rescue travelers being chased by combat apes, freed experimental test subjects persecuted by evil ninjas, and helped a village that was tricked by the evil ninja Rosaru, among many other such deeds. It seems as if Rappa's heart really will remain unmoved until evil has been purged and justice enacted. As for rappers, I'm, I'm just speaking. I'm just looking. You All know? will be revealed in the version 2.6 Trailblaze continuous. Thank you, Snowy Ninja, yeah, for good. your insightful explanation. I am excited also, to see what the Man, that's gonna be so nice. Ninjas at Paperfold University. In getting to know Rapper, you'll undoubtedly notice her and I hope she's like, commitment to justice. Like OP. Opposition to like, Jade is OP, but like. Galaxy Rangers. <laughs> I don't know, it just feels weird. I don't know. You can better understand her mind so, yeah. through her combat style. I wonder, she, let's see, I wonder if she's follow up, if she's like just pure said, damage for what's up. Only for Caroni, she's really strong. <laughs> for Caroni. Yeah. Next, let's dive into a demonstration Good one. of Miss Rappa's ninjutsu. When I use my technique, I enter the graffiti state, swiftly moving forward, attacking any enemies in my path. So, this is dazzling ninjutsu, huh? There's graffiti all over the place. Are you sure you didn't pick this up from a certain hacker? Man, that guy was struggling with the mouse. You could see that he was running out of mouse pad. This is a ningu. Time to unleash a flurry of ninjutsu techniques. When entering combat in the graffiti state, I and reduce the, the toughness the of all died. enemies irrespective of weakness types. During battle, Rappa's skill will inflict imaginary type damage on all enemies. After activating my ultimate, I enter the seal form state, gain a certain number of chroma ink points, and unleash Ningu, Demon Bane Petal Blade. Aha, a first person combat perspective. How utterly unexpected. Ooh, take a look. I mean, it's different. It's pretty cool. Which will appear in version two but essentially, just like the Banacademic Office. I can't remember if they right? Like the same. Academics publishing academic title. Like Fury behind this it. This is the Green Bananas ultimate combo move. Fear not the approaching Damn. foes. The first few hits of Ningu Demon Bane Petal Blade deal imaginary blast damage, and the final hit deals imaginary to all enemies. During seal form, my weakness break efficiency is increased, allowing me to reduce the toughness of enemies even without imaginary weakness. Check it, dazzling tags, hidden blades. That's just a tease for a ninja like me, taking evil is a breeze, ain't afraid of no enemy. Bring in the heat, time to show them real skills, it can't be beat. With danger ahead, weakness type ignored, in the dojo no luck, just power explored. Reduce toughness, cut them down with ease, every strike I hit brings them to their knees. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Is this the ninja mantra that Rappa was talking about? Uh, perfect time. We've also invited the famous singer Rail to perform Rappa's PV song, No Dazzle, No Break. This will undoubtedly teach you all what real essence of the ninja mantra is about. Can't wait! <laughs> yeah! If it's the same style as the trailer, then that's and gonna be a sick song. It's time to take a look at version 2.6's. Another four star line, version 2.6 first half. I mean, I'm saying that like I care. Like I use it here at this point. Five star character <laughs> Rappa. The limited five star light well, cone, I do actually. Two inscription, dazzling. Oh, but edition, I don't like this edition. Oh my god. Drop rate. And just so you all know, the limited five star character Don Hung in Bible of Lune is returning. And at the same I think it's like the third the time. Five star light cone it was like in 2.1, right? Or 2.0? It's become available once again. Damn. The four star light cone dreams montage 
has also been added to this banner lineup. And in version 2.6, his second half warp event, Trailblazers can acquire the limited five-star character, Ekaron. The limited five-star light cone along the passing shore will also have a boosted drop rate. The drop rates of the limited five-star character Aventurine and the limited five-star light cone in Aventurine already. Destiny will Shit. also be boosted. Or Loki, I was thinking about Aventurine. <laughs> but I don't think so. I don't need to move this thing. Will resume in just a few moments. It's a massive trip, yeah. But there's like some brain or shit right here. Yeah. Rotting too hard. Can we end it? Can I thought it was in the end? Welcome back. Let's keep showcasing the Damn. exciting and vibrant life at Paperfold University. God, the brain After resolving real. the turmoil at Paperfold University, the incredible campus life will carry on. What does it have to offer? Take the music party, for instance, which is being enthusiastically prepared. It's the highlight of the Dreamlight anniversary, where students from different academies will express their dreams and vitality through music. In the version of Ben's Sound Hunt Ninjutsu Inscription, the Trailblazer can take part in the Dreamlight Anniversary Music Party as the band manager, working with the band leader, the Dazzling Ninja Not Hero, business. a.k.a. Well, Rapper, kind of. leading the band in performances. Is there any limit to the Trailblazer's ever-expanding career path? And now, a band Ooh. manager? What exactly does a band manager even do? To create enchanting ninja music that touches the audience, the Honorable Baseball Bat Ninja will be lending me a hand in discovering musical inspiration. That's right. Look at the, the trail those traps. Will journey around the world they come out with the trousers. Kind of wild. Peculiar rhythm patterns have appeared and record the unique musical beats. For example, the I, can't, I want to look at the camera over there because that's where it used to be, but now it's over here. Your responses based on the rhythm and patterns of the music and the birds. Just a heads up, if you accidentally miss a beat, the whole performance might fall apart. <laughs> Time to put the Trailblazer's sense of rhythm to the test. The music party will feature three performances oh, that's on cool. the central stage. That's like some Genshin ass event, style. though. The band manager Genshin did that like a bunch of times all three shows go off without a hit. After collecting enough Nothing new there. Tracks, the trailblazer can arrange and edit the tracks to create a full composition. Once the composition is completed, the background music in the performance scene will change accordingly. Band members will take the stage. Oh and the lighting shit! What the fuck? I'm gonna spend like ten hours on this. Move to the rhythm of the music. Sway to the cosmic beat together. Of course. While preparing for the three live performances with the band, many music-loving friends will step in to offer their help. Such as the musical veterans from the band Mechanical Fever or Miss Robin, a graduate of Charlie Damn. Academy. Both are very Bell supportive Bell is of this back. new band. Finish the Once again to receive the four star event light cone ninja record sound hunt this and its edition materials as reward. Oh, it's <laughs> destruction? What is that? Furthermore, as cares about destruction. Band manager, the honor they already have light cones. Ninja is responsible for resolving the members emotional struggles. Uh, erudition, it's a light cone, but they don't have one yet. To work together harmoniously. I suppose it's to be expected. Band members I'm lucky that him because S2, but like, I didn't have that. It's so the rough and pure fiction. So long as no one leaves the band, drops out of school, or starts lying to each other, everything will be just fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, perhaps the band will experience a whirlwind of emotional highs and lows, going through tears and laughter before successfully pulling off their final show. Rest assured, everyone, I'll be giving it my all every step of the way. So, is there any other intriguing content in version 2.6, or is that all? 
That's not all. In version 2.6, the troll is going will back. receive an offer from a familiar They're giving him elemental damage boots. Like these potion things. Once we connected to the silver rail, our old friend Sampo took a trip beyond the stars and stumbled upon a new business opportunity. He's gearing up to open a Mr. Coldfeet store, which deals in means, and he's inviting the Trailblazer to invest and make a fortune. Without a doubt, Sampo is Urillo Six's ultimate wheeler dealer. Uh, I wouldn't trust any money-making schemes that come from a masked fool. Rest assured, old Sampo True. might have tricked all his pals, but he never deceived the Trailblazer. During the Mr. Coldfeet store event, all the Trailblazer needs to do is submit different materials to Sampo each day, synthesize meme products, and collect dividends. Plus, you'll be able to see what buyers from all corners of the universe have to say about the merchandise. So he only spares the Trailblazer from his tricks? <laughs> <laughs> According to the rumors, I've okay, been cool. working with cold. It's like those like Zenless on zero events. Oh, you just go and give them stuff. Be entrusted with another special use. task from Wendy Chromes in version 2.6. Don't tell me. And is this the another wanted notice for Boot Hill? Yeah, like the uh, given that Boot Hill's bounty keeps rising, it's no wonder everyone is thing that happens morning. every day. The objective of this assignment is to oh. collect information yep. on the recent happenings of the galaxy. Damn, this really is a filler patch in there. In the shadow of the Ranger of Edge, like the Trailblazer must complete different assignments to obtain rewards. Galaxy Rangers, plural. Seems like you know the 2.7 is, is gonna blow up like everything. Where the this they has to. There's no. Find Bro, how did everything uh, go and in addition Sunday to these events, at the same time? Like, that's crazy, no? Bring us the much anticipated third simulated universe DLC update following the swarm disaster and golden gears. This time, a massive void known as the unknowable domain has appeared Who is that? in the simulated universe. I'm looking. This part of the simulated universe was in the process of simulating a historical event known as the Scholar's Strife, which followed the Second Emperor's War. Uh, hang on a second. That's a uh, far too many confusing ninja phrases to understand. Although, like a new form. <sighs> Treating this kind of mental sluggishness takes more than a day. Albert, That's right, we had Swarm Gold back years. For everyone. Now we're gonna have I this. Get it. After all, it's a research topic that only geniuses would understand. Yeah, I wonder if you can still play the normal simulated games. <laughs> I've never gone back to first as office. I was introduced to the, like, the ship on Penacone. So, the Divergent Universe. What exactly is the Scholar Strife? <laughs> it's quite a long story. <laughs> After Ember Rupert II's death, Many scholarly factions fought tooth and nail for his legacy. <laughs> the right to distribute and use the Scepter System's computational resources. In short, <laughs> the Scepter System is a cluster of inorganic bionic neurons created by Rupert II. It functioned as his external thinking unit and had incredible processing capacity. After the Second Emperor's War, numerous intact Scepter units were handed over to the Intelligentsia Guild by the IPC for research. Okay. For scholars, even gaining access to just 1% or even 1 ten thousandths of the system's computational power would drastically reduce the difficulty of their research and significantly speed up their results. This disparity in productivity is what ultimately fueled the scholar's strife. As for the unknowable domain, Toner. it involves a personal... Did her time get that her. legacy then? <laughs> Can we even talk about this, madam? I have nothing to be ashamed of, and I wouldn't exactly label it as a rumor either. Even for a genius such as myself, the journey of scientific research is not without its challenges. My research goal is to expand the total knowledge of the universe. But every time I feel on the verge of a breakthrough, some inexplicable obstacle seems to arise, hindering my progress. It looks like even the great twirling ninja has her setbacks from time to time. <laughs> twirling and ninja. I believe that this unknowable That's domain good. is one of those inexplicable obstacles. That's it's preventing name. us from gaining specific knowledge and unearthing a particular part of history. Correct. Thus, the great Madame Herda has decided to simulate the Scepter System, resurrect Emperor Rupert II, and add a fifth collaborator to the simulated universe in order to push... Okay, well, this is going to be like Swarm Mogul, because then it makes sense why there's like so little content. The point. I need the they won't, that means they have went hard on this. On the As a result, 
Hopefully. The combat rules in this simulated universe will be completely different from the previous ones. In the simulated universe, unknowable domain, the Trailblazer's combat buffs, will be centered on the scepter and its components. The Trailblazer can acquire and equip up to three scepters, each possessing unique offensive effects and charging conditions. In combat, once specific conditions are met, a scepter can be activated to deliver powerful attacks on the enemy. During exploration, you can also acquire components Ooh, boss. and decision cool. components that can be equipped onto the scepter, creating extraordinary combo effects during combat. Oh, and how exactly do components differ I wonder if it's from be simple decision or not. components? Components provide significant boost to the effects of the scepter. Decision components, on the other hand, are rarer and, when equipped, greatly increase the frequency of which the scepter can be used while I'm also doing creating the powerful ulti. synergies between multiple scepters. Wow! It looks like ninja formations and ninjutsu tactics But they created all these effects for that roguelike mode. Now. And then they keep, like, trying to you bring them back. Also combine lower tier components That's crazy. To create higher tier ones, granting more like those effects, I mean. Combat boosts. Overriding components to change their type is also possible in specific domains. During the initial phase of exploration, the Trailblazer can collect scepters in different domains and equip them with suitable components to enhance their power. In the mid to late phase, the Trailblazer can strategically combine scepters and components, creating powerful synergies between multiple scepters to defeat the final. What is that comp? I trust <laughs> That's some the crazy comp. comprehends Ain't gonna everything by now, don't they? Go ahead and run the tests, and be sure I receive a report as well. Furthermore, in version 2.6, the simulated universe store will be updated with light cones and superimposition materials. So that's how they're going to bring them back. Who missed out Interesting. Them needed. Oh, tutorial missions can now be restarted too? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let's take a short break, and we'll keep the show going when we're back. That's, that's kind of... Like, I mean, it's nice that they brought those light cones back. Because, like, the tutorial mission where that's, like, OP, right? But... It's kind of peak, the way, like, not be, like, you know, sad. So that was, like, some British slang coming up. But, yeah, it's, like... Kind of sad. Because it, like, slows down your progress to buy the, like, they have five-star light cones. If you're, like, new, right? Welcome back, y'all! In version 2.6, we have some new materials to introduce to everyone. Stagnant Shadow Shape of Timber will be going live soon, and by successfully beating yeah. it, you can obtain essential materials for imaginary characters. Cavern of Corrosion. Path of Uncertainty is also set to launch. Successfully beat it to be rewarded with two relic sets. Secure Doses, Relived Ordeal, and Scholar Lost in Erudition. Indeed, Re the garden oh, but they didn't reveal anything. And the planar fissure will likewise support double rewards. Up next is the gift of Odyssey. Like my wars, it's just gotta be. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad, Albert. It seems like you've unknowingly learned the ninja mantra. All right, everyone. That brings us to the end of this episode. It's time to say goodbye to everyone. We'll see you all at Paper Bowl University. And that's a wrap. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> Farewell. Bye. Hey, yo, yo. It's a special program coming at you live with something sublime. Uh, What's happening? Why are we wrapping all of a sudden? This is the Ninja Mantra Special Mastery Edition. Now put your betters together for the IPM's cutest host, aka Fat Beak. It's Albert's time to shine. <laughs> Pat B. I went on the grind over time, master of even rhymes, hoping for promotion, got the paid away on my mind. Still remember the golden days, everything's so fair and free. I'm losing my mind, am I less respect to the IPC? Pay the duck train, pure direction. Barely sleeping, always sweeping. Driving to climb, driving to climb, reach the highest heights. Top floor, I was looking into the starry sky. Slash, cut, clean. A cheer up, Albert, time for us to team up. Catch evil doers together, smash them all into dust. Mapo age of the Dharma, those demons making a mess. Trying to claim their heart are better, stronger, faster than the rest. Inside the ninja's heart, shines a light to defend that carries on to the end, the will refuses to bend. 
Okay, all right. Ratio. The express is approaching its destination. Next stop, Paperfold University. Please ensure you have all your personal belongings with you. The Mapo age is about to begin. Oh, why did I do that? When peer pressure is strong. Oh, that's pretty cool. Not bad. It's like. It's like they went all in, right? To the new simulated universe thing. And. Like the story, I guess, right? I don't know, the, the simulated universe thing doesn't like look that engaging though. Or different, maybe I should say, I don't know. It usually looks like that, like a roguelike mode that we got a couple of patches ago. But it's just like you can repeat it over and over again. Like to actually get resources and stuff, right? And like, I don't know, it's interesting. Yeah, overall it's just gonna be like a patch where you do the story and that's about it. But yeah, wrapper looks cool. Actually, I was looking, but yeah. Or a little bit. Not bad. Very right, cool. Not bad at all. Mm -hmm.